Hi, my name is Mark Patterson, and I'm with GoMeasure 3D. And today we're going to be looking at an inspection process uh, using the basis arm, and we are going to be inspecting this uh, bearing cage. So um, I'm going to be using my basis, and I'm just going to set this down on some magnets to kind of keep it in place. So I've already, I already have my report ready to go. Um, uh, came in here and decided, you know, what to, what to measure. Um, and I'll kind of talk about this as I'm running through it. So now that I have my report up and I've cleared all the measurements, I'm going to start taking them. So I'm going to take a, a, a plane. And the reason why I'm going to take a plane is so that I can kind of project my... Um, my other measurements onto it, so it's like I'm taking some 2D measurements. So four points for my plane. Okay, and then I'll click the L button to continue. Another four for my inner diameter. And I'm actually having um, the two circles I'm going to take in this measurement are actually going to be projected onto that top plane so that they are concentric circles. And I can determine the width between the two here. So instead of taking a pair of calipers to it, um, I'm essentially getting these 2D measurements or projections of these diameters and I'm just getting the measurement that way. And I'll take one more point. All right, now I'm going to be getting um, measuring a cone. So I just need to measure a couple on the bottom and a couple on the top. Okay, and now I'm going to be looking at the draft angle in between here um, on these, uh, on that part of the bearing cage. So I'm going to take a line on each side and project it down onto, um, onto that plane so that I can get that angle. All right. Now that I've taken all my measurements, I can look at the report. So I'm going to come over here to the report tab. I'm going to refresh it and get my new values. Um, it gives me the flatness of my plane that I created. Um, and I've already set up the nominal values for my radius um, and some you know, tolerances. And it kind of gives me this go or no go. Uh, green OK, so I'm within my tolerances, that's great. Once again, within my tolerances, and that width is within the tolerance that I had set also. Um, so I can look at the cone measurements, uh, the radius, and the angle. Um, and then I had those two lines, and I constructed an angle based off the projection of those lines from the top plane. Um, so that's just a really basic uh, Moby gauge basis demo. Um, if you have more questions, uh, please feel free to call us or visit us at www.gomeasure3d.com. Thank you.